Either one of you are like in a different position. Yeah, I realize you're wrong. <laughs> 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 I didn't run out and <laughs> Yes, I did, sir. <laughs> But Keanu, do you, do you feel that your position, like your thoughts or feelings on the topic have changed at all through the course of making the film? Yeah, absolutely. And, and certainly since the film, since we worked on putting it together, you know, the world has changed even more in terms of the cameras. Um, so, uh, but at the time, um, I definitely was kind of, what is this? And Because and, I was always saying, but, you know, you can even see it. But the image was, you know, and it didn't, but um, I certainly, you know, looking at the Alexa, and, and as we were kind of going along, I mean, it, it really is what you know Michael Ballhouse says. You know, it's just you know, when you come at something with passion, and, and and also hearing people say, well, yeah, it did, it wasn't my film, but I used it for this, you know, and I I dealt with it, and it helped me do this, you know, just kind of sitting free and being able to tell stories. Um, that was a lot, but the but the the image itself and coming to terms with that and. Um, I still, you know, feel that the idea of the choice going away, you know, and at the time, just people being forced to make the choice, um, you know, I lament that. What was kind of inspiring um, is that so many people, everyone we spoke to is so concerned and wants the best images possible in their movies and they want to make things as beautiful as possible or as perfect as possible for the audiences and they want them to have that exper experience. It's not like it's totally, you know, people are just trying to get product out there and slap it together. There's real artists involved. And for me to be able to talk to people and time and again, person after person, to be so passionate and concerned about it, and to be even having these conversations and arguments made me feel pretty good about the state of cinema today. Well, things are changing so quickly. I mean, it's interesting how we're sort of talking historically about, you know, 2005 in, in the film. Was it difficult for you in some way to declare the movie done or to feel that, th that you were ever at a point where you could feel good in sort of putting it out to the world? I mean, basically, have things changed even since you finished the film earlier this year? Yeah, I mean, things are, are constantly changing. As we're making the movie, things are changing. The Alexa camera, you know, was sort of just an idea or, or Ari is about to come out with this camera, or a couple guys have gotten to shoot some tests on it. Whereas now it's you know it's it's everywhere. A lot of films, commercials, TV shows are shooting on the Alexa. The same with the Red. So we try to keep up the speed, but we try to kind of make the movie in a way that it's marking this moment in time, and it's not saying this is the end of it. The technology has has gotten to here, and and that's the end. We kind of wanted to say this is what's happening now. This is the moment of change, and this is kind of where it could possibly go. So yeah, there was no way to really put a button on the movie and, and end it because it's we're showing something that's still living and growing and changing. But I do remember conversations like, well, what about, Lord, please, Lord, dear God, I've got to cut the fucking movie. <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, we interviewed. You didn't say fucking. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but we interviewed about 140 people. And 70 people made it into the movie. So it gets to be a point where you're like, you know, even if you get another great person, I could name, you know, great people that we didn't get, but they would, you know, you want to hear more from them, so you shrink other people. And we didn't want it to just be, you know, a, a famous director parade where everyone speaks for 30 seconds. We wanted to <laughs> interview people who normally you may not hear from, you know, um, colorists and editors and technical people and people that actually make the cameras and people that do the visual effects. So yeah, Keanu kept saying, what if we get this guy? What if we get that guy? What if we get? And I, meanwhile, I have like a stack of manuscripts, transcripts this high I'm trying to get through. Well, one of the things I really appreciate is the